Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, if we get a puncture in our car, it's generally not too much of a big deal. However, it's a little bit more complex and challenging if you get a puncture with your caravan. Now I know what you're all saying, I've got breakdown cover, I'll just give them a ring, they'll come out, they'll sort it, and yes they will, and I would do the same as well. However, there are circumstances sometimes where a police officer might turn and say, there's five miles of traffic in the, uh, behind you, you need to get a move on, and your breakdown recovery is at least an hour to two hours away, so let's get it done. And they're gonna want you to change that wheel out and get you on the road to re relieve the congestion. So that's why we're doing this video. So let's take a look at the procedures. So we're now assuming that the car is attached to the hitch because it's at the side of the road. First thing you need to do is apply the handbrake so that it locks the wheels off. Otherwise, they'll just spin when you try to tighten them up. So make sure that is secure. So before we turn to jacking the caravan up itself, I need to explain something uh, which is very important. Now, it depends on the type of jacking system you've got. Now, on my caravan, I've got the Purple Line Co-Jack jacking system, which I'll show you in a moment. And I'll explain why I've got this jacking system on the caravan to help it jack the caravan and lift it securely. Modern caravan chassis are made of lightweight galvanized steel. This is folded into box sections to add strength. It is not recommended that you jack up the caravan by placing the jack underneath the chassis lower plate. The weight of the caravan against the jack could cause the chassis to either bend, buckle or twist. Also, the caravan could slip off the jack. So since 1992, on all caravans with an Alco chassis, Alco have provided two pre-drilled holes which are just behind the rear of the wheel on each side. Now these are for plates that they can be attached to the caravan to allow it to be jacked up a lot more safely and without damaging the chassis as I've already explained. So I'm going to now show you what I'm using in terms of jacking plates and jacking system for the caravan. The jacking plate bolts to the side of the chassis at its strongest point where the stress is least rather than here. The Kojak jacking system comes supplied with a bottle jack, so let's take a look at that now. So the bottle jack actually has a groove section in it there, which needs to line up with this section here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to raise the bottle jack, making sure that this screw here is actually tight, and we do that with the handle. So the jack is now engaged with the base plate of the jacking bracket. Now, as you can see, I've got this jack on a flat surface. We can now start to loosen off the nuts of the wheel. Well everyone, that's how you jack up the caravan in order to change the wheel. I hope you found this useful. If you're interested in the coal jack system from Purple Line, I'll leave a link below. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I do hope you join us again real soon. But in the meantime, bye for now.